Hello. So, I really wasn't sure what I wanted to talk about today, and in all honesty, I wasn't even sure if I was going to say anything about everything that's happening here in the United States, because, in all honesty, I'm not even sure that uh, I'm the correct person to be saying anything about it, or if I have a place to say anything about it. But, I do believe that everybody has a right to speak their minds, so I'm just going to do that. And I hope that whatever I say resonates with whoever's watching this. The current situation in, in this country and now in the world has let's say, exposed a lot of an injustice and an inequality that are still present in, in human societies in general. And that they need to be addressed in the favor of the advancement of civilization itself. Now, I don't, I'm not going to concentrate in particulars because I believe that there are people that are way more prepared than I am and that are way more eloquent about those specific subjects, but out of this whole thing, the one clear message that I believe that it's really important for everybody to have is the need for empathy. Now, everybody knows what empathy means, which is putting yourself in someone else's shoes. But I don't know if we do that to the extent of what the meaning of, uh, of empathy actually implies. We're supposed to feel. Use our imagination to feel someone else's existence, someone else's situation in order to spark a novel perspective that helps us understand their point of view. Now, and I'm not talking about a, a particular group of people, a particular race, a particular ideology, uh, or any differentiation right now, because I, that's what I'm trying to get at. I believe that we as human beings need to stop and try to empathize with each other. Now, this is a really tough situation because there are people and you can talk and you can defend or go for or against this point, but there are people that have been more privileged than others, at least since a certain period of history. Now, you can, of course, yet again argue that this is just a temporal situation and it shouldn't be seen as a, as a problem, which I disagree. But the thing is that even if that is true, even if there are people that are, let's say, better positioned in a society, we are all still a community and we are all still a tribe. We are all still, quote unquote, trapped with each other. And unless we want to leave the community, the country, the city that we live in, which we can to a certain extent, or if we realize that we are part of it, and the only solution that I find is not to, let's say, have this milk toast kind of like centrist point of view, which is what a lot of people conflate being reasonable with, but to actually sit down and read about the other side and listen to the other side and not only do that, but actually even close your eyes, so you don't have to close your eyes, but close your eyes and imagine how it would feel like to be that person, to be that experience. And to have a real honest conversation of how much you would tolerate, how much would you react, how much would you defend, how much you would destroy. How much you would feel justified in your actions, how much you would feel benefited by your privileges, how much you would... You get the point. Now, the, the, the purpose of this is to create bridges among people. To create links, because that's all we have. We, all we have is each other. Civilizations, cultures and societies go up and down all the time. 
but the people that are in it are the thing that is important. Our culture may change, our societies may change, our laws may change, our type of governments may change, but the people that are in them deserve to be treated fairly, deserve to be treated with respect, deserve to be heard, deserve not to be judged and without merit. And this goes out for everybody. Now, in my smallest experience as an immigrant in this country, I've been treated fairly and I've been uh, treated poorly by racist people, by uh, xenophobic people. And I know that my experience is the tiniest fraction of what a lot of people go through. But when I went through those experiences, I understood how tiring and how exhausting and how demoralizing it can be to be judged just by how you look, how be, how, how much it affects you to be disregarded as a human being or your thoughts or your ideas just because you don't look the part. And the quote unquote part, according to the group that you're interacting with will change. Because this is not about a political position or an ideological position. People will be unfair and will treat badly people from different races, ethnicities, and uh, I guess cultures and nationalities according to what they believe. And this doesn't exempt anybody. But if we're gonna live in this community, or if we're gonna try to build something better, which I believe is the whole point, to take what's good and improve what's bad, then we have to stop thinking of each other as enemies and as parts and as members of, a, of the same community, of the same tribe. And I know that, let's say that using this analogy of the symbol of the tribe is an idealistic one and there's a lot of uh, I don't know, considerations and variables to, to that go against it. But it's worth a try. It's really worth a try. Because the only thing that you will be doing is humanizing another person, which is redundant to the extreme. The more you understand someone else's story, the more you understand someone else's point of view, whether they're right or wrong in certain areas, whether they might be uh, justifying or rationalizing certain things, because nobody's perfect, you'll understand them better. And I hope you understand that, like I do, that I am not perfect by any stretch of the imagination. And that I'm so... I'm as prone to failure, mistaking ignorance and, and bias as any other human being. And that the best thing to resolve that is to inform yourself. But I guess right now more than informing ourselves, or maybe it goes with, it's not a separate process, is to actually empathize. To realize that it's not us against them or them against us. It's all of us against the problem. That's it. Uh, it's all of us against the problem. And see you next time.